Today, I'll show you how to crochet this cat ear beanie hat. I finished this in one day, and I would say probably 95% of the beginners can finish this in one day as well. As you can see, this hat is pretty small. It is shorter than a normal beanie because for a simple normal beanie, we need to work more stitches on top here. And then when we close it off, it will form the top of a beanie. But for this one, we don't need to do that. So it definitely takes less time to make. So my one measures about 10 inches in width and 8 inches in height. You might need to adjust the width depending on your head size. And if you want to adjust the thickness of the ribbing, you can do that as well. You probably don't need to adjust this distance here, but if it turns out you do, you can adjust the ribbing to compensate. So this is what I'm going to be using, and you'll only need one ball for each color. The thickness is 8 ply, so it's kind of like weight 3 yarn. It calls for a 4mm crochet hook, and that's what I'm going to be using. You can use a different yarn if you stay in the same weight. If you have the same thickness here, you probably don't need to make any adjustment to the stitch number or the row count. You can see the gauge here. This will help you determine if your yarn is in the same weight. So even if this is the knitting tension, it would still help. So as you can see for a 10 times 10 centimeter square, we need 22 stitches times 30 rows. So check your yarn and see if it has this gauge information. And if you have the same numbers here, then you're probably in the same weight. If you're using a different weight yarn, you might need to make some adjustments to the stitch number and the row count. But just remember, the important thing is the measurements, not how many stitches you have. So I'm going to begin with the slip knot. You're going to use the main color to do this, which for me is black. Insert my hook and make a chain. This chain should be your head circumference. But make sure your chain is even numbered. So my head circumference is about 22 inches and this chain, I've chained 76, it stretches to about 22 inches. If you don't have a tape measure, you can just wrap this chain around your head and make sure the ends meet. Next, we're going to begin row 1. I'm going to chain 1 to turn. And then find the second chain from the hook. One, two. I'm going to turn my chain to find the back loop of the second chain from the hook. Which is this one. I'm going to insert my hook in this back loop. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. And then you should have two vertical loops here. You're going to insert your hook in the left one. And then make another single crochet. So yarn over, pull through one loop. And yarn over, pull through two. This is going to be the first double crochet. And we're going to make the first double crochet of each row just like this. And then in the back loop of the next stitch, I'm going to make a normal double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook in that back loop. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Then yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And then we're just going to continue doing that making one double crochet in the back loop of each stitch. So yarn over, insert our hook in the back loop, pull up a loop, pull through two, and pull through two. So you're going to continue working like this 
uh, one double in each stitch all the way to the end of the chain. Okay, so this is the second last chain. I'm going to work a double crochet in the back loop. And then the last stitch is where we change color for the next row. So I'm still going to yarn over, insert my hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop, but then I'm only going to yarn over and pull through two once. So I'm going to have the last two loops on the hook. I'm going to get my green yarn, get your second color, and just yarn over and pull it through the two loops. And just to secure it a little bit, I'm going to tie a knot here. Like that. Okay, and then we're going to work the next row. I'm going to turn my work directly. And remember how we make that first double crochet? In the very first stitch, I'm going to insert my hook in both loops and I'm going to make a single crochet first, like so. And then we have two vertical loops here. Insert my hook in the left loop and make a single crochet again, like that. And first double crochet done. And then from the next stitch, I'm just going to work one double crochet in each stitch. And when I work the double crochet, I'm going to insert my hook in both loops. Just to make sure we can find that first stitch when we come back, I'm going to mark this first double crochet. And then I'm going to continue working my stitches like this, one double crochet in each stitch and finish this row. If you're not sure which one is the last stitch, you just pull the stitches like this and then you can see that's one, and that is the last stitch. So I'm going to work two more double crochets. I'm going to finish the last stitch and then turn again. The next row is in this color as well. So I'm going to work the first double crochet like before and then continue working one double crochet in each stitch for row three. So this is the end of row three and that's the last stitch. In this stitch, I'm going to work the double crochet to the last two loops on hook. because we're going to change color again. So from row two, we're going to change color every two rows. So I'm going to change to black. The yarn is here. I'm just going to drag it up and finish this double crochet. Okay, and then I can turn again and begin row four in this color.
And when you finish row four, you're just gonna turn and begin row five, work your way back, and then change color again. Use this green yarn to finish your last double crochet, and then work row six and seven in green. So I kept working like that, and this is what I have so far. So this is 12 rows. Row 10 and 11 are green, and row 12 is black. And it measures about 6 inches. Next, we're going to fold this in half and make the short ends meet like this. And I'm going to use this yarn tail sew up the short ends and then I'm going to continue joining these two edges as well. By the way, you can cut this green yarn. So this is row 12. I'm going to chain one. And then I'm just going to slip stitch these two edges together. I'm going to work two single crochets for every double crochet row. So I'm going to insert my hook in this very first stitch. And then I'm going to insert here in this edge and make a slip stitch. And one more slip stitch here. So just insert in this edge and then also on the other side and slip stitch. Two for the green rows as well. Two slip stitches here and two slip stitches here. Okay, so continue joining like this, two slip stitches for every double crochet row, and I'll see you at the end here. So this is the last slip stitch. And then I'm going to chain one and turn my work like this. and then begin joining this edge. So in the first stitch, you're going to insert your hook in both loops and make a slip stitch. Next stitch, both loops, slip stitch. Continue joining like this to the end. And make sure you get to the corner ones. And chain one. Cut your yarn and pull through. Okay, so now this is what we have. This is the wrong side. So I'm going to turn this inside out. I can fasten these off later. 
and then we're going to crochet the ribbing. So I'm going to turn my work like this and attach my yarn to the seam here. I'm going to make my ribbing black, but just for you to see um, what I'm doing more clearly, I'm going to use green. But just know that after I show you, I'm going to rip it and then switch to black and finish the ribbing. So I'm going to make a slip knot and attach my yarn. Attach my yarn to the very center of the seam. We have two stitches here. I'm just gonna insert my hook in the left one and attach my yarn. We're going to use front and back post double crochets for the ribbing. So I'm going to first chain one and then I'm going to yarn over, prepare for a double crochet. And then I'm going to insert my hook around this first stitch. These two stitches are attached, but you're just going to try to pull them apart and then just insert your hook in the middle. You're going to go around this black stitch, this first stitch, like that, and make your, and pull yarn through, make your double crochet. Okay, so this is the front post double crochet. I'm going to show you again later, but the next stitch is a back post. So I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook in between these two stitches and then around the second stitch and go to the back like that and then yarn over pull yarn through and a double crochet the next stitch we're going to switch back to the front post so one front post one back post this is the third stitch we're going to do a front post so insert your hook from the front around the back like that and pull yarn through make a double crochet the next stitch is a back post like this one so yarn over from the back around like that and pull yarn through a double crochet the next a front so insert from the front around and a double crochet next stitch is the back post yarn over insert from the back around double crochet And as you can see, when we do a back post, we can see the color. Um, it forms a little bar here. That's why I'm gonna use the same yarn, the same color as this one. I'm gonna use black, so these are not visible. So now I'm gonna undo this and switch it to black yarn and finish this round like that. Because we have an even number of stitches, your last stitch should be a back post because we've been alternating between a front and a back. So that's a front post. My last stitch should be a back post. So I'm going to work a back post here. And then I'm going to find the very first front post double crochet and then I'm going to insert my hook in the top two loops of that front post and make a slip stitch. Chain two. I'm going to repeat this row again and in this front post 
I'm going to work a front post. So yarn over and just insert your hook around that stitch. Pull up a loop and make a front post. And just let me show you again in green. So slip stitch and then chain two. And then in the same front post, I'm going to work a front post again. So insert your hook from the front around the stitch and make a double crochet. And then the next stitch is a back post. We're going to do a back post in the back post. So yarn over, insert your hook from the back around that stitch, pull through, and a double crochet. Front post, next stitch. Next stitch, back post. So you're just going to repeat this one row for the ribbing. So I did five rows. I'm just counting this horizontal bar here on the back post of crochet. So one, two, three, four, five. And then when you finish your last back post stitch, you're just gonna slip stitch in the first front post stitch and then fasten off. And the ribbing is about two inches. At last, I'm going to use a yarn needle to fasten off all the ends on the wrong side. This is the right side and this is the wrong side. I wasn't going to include this part, so I've done the shaping of the ears already, but then I decided to add it in. So I'm just going to quickly tell you what I did. So from this corner, I counted 10 stitches towards the left and then count five rows down to here. So I marked those two spots, then attached the black yarn here and get it on the yarn needle, go through the stitches like this all the way to this spot. Then I pull this yarn tight. So if you pull this, these two spots will close up like this. And then I fastened off this tail on the wrong side. And then your hat is done.